everyone. Welcome to another week of Nova Kids Online. As you can see, I purchased some new sunglasses for the summer months. Now this best describes my favorite thing about summer, ice cream. There are two types of people in the world, I've learned. People that like ice cream or people that like popsicles. I prefer ice cream, but if you like popsicles, that's so fantastic. And I'll see what I can do about finding some popsicle sunglasses. All right, but I will get to the lesson this week because we've got to get into our lesson. Who remembers our theme for the month? Last month. Faith, right. And the good news is we get to carry it over into the month of July. And faith is when? Does anyone remember? Anyone? That's right. It's faith is trusting in something you can't see because of what you can see. All right, we are going to jump right into the So and So Show. Enjoy. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Is it halls or is it hall? <laughs> Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to. Be jolly. La 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? Christmas in July, everyone. My name is Brandon. Oh, Christmas in July. That's why all the, uh, is that a thing? His name is John, and this is the So-and-So Show. Yeah. Merry Christmas in July, buddy. For me? <laughs> wow, thank you. This is, <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, you got me a book. You, you know me so well. Oh, no, it's not just any book. It's Charles Dickens' immortal classic, A Christmas Carol. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with uh, Ebenezer Scrooge? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I saw the movie. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, thank you. What? What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're wondering if I got you a gift for Christmas? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I didn't get you a gift. Huh? I. I don't. I don't understand. I I I, I didn't get a, you a Christmas in July gift because I didn't know that Christmas in July was a thing. Of course it is. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it's a thing. Everyone knows it's an actual thing. Of course they really do. Yeah, right. Do they? Yeah. Look, ha have I been not? A, ha have I not been a good friend to you over the past half year? I mean, <laughs> ha haven't I done enough to earn a gift from you? What's the point of putting so much work into this friendship if I don't get a gift on all the major holidays? I mean, major? Yes! Uh, okay, but I think maybe you've missed the point of holidays, and of friendship, and of gift giving all in general, my friend. Hmm? What's that, is that my gift? No, you. no, it's not a gift. What's in the box? Change! Ooh. Why are you talking like that? I don't know, it's fun. Hey, you will be visited by three ghosts. Ghosts? No, wait, no, no, no. Guests. You will be visited by three guests. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for being here. Come Thank on, come on. Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> yes. That's, okay, let's see what you got. That's great. Uh, so who are you and uh, what do you know? Well, hello, my name is Simone. Mm -hmm. I am the guest of Christmas Past. I've kept every Christmas gift oh, I've ever had. Ooh. Ever? Ever, like Rubik's. Hold on, got something for you guys, Rubik's. Cute. I got this like 27 Christmases ago. 
I'm going to solve it one day, though. Ooh, oh, yeah. Ooh, la la. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <sighs> close. Uh, so you think gifts are important. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They're most important. How else am I going to show someone that I care about them? Spend time with them? Nah, <laughs> time is fleeting. But gifts, gifts last forever. That is the opposite of true. Like this stuffed animal from my first Christmas. Whoa. <laughs> this is my hairy bear. He's been through a lot. Has he been through a wood uh, chipper? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait a minute. This is a super fun paddle ball. But, lost the ball though. But, my favorite first gift was given to me 10 years ago. It was this big jar of slime. It's gonna come out one day. <laughs> Look at there. It's not so slimy anymore, is it? I know, isn't it great? Huh. Yeah, I think I see that why you're here now. You're here to show me that stuff doesn't last forever. I get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm actually here to show you, let me show you, Ready for this? This napkin. I had to blow my nose and someone was like, do you need a napkin? And I was like, thank you. End of the story. But, was that really a gift though? <gasps> it was given to me, so duh. Okay, thank you for coming on the show, crazy. guest of Christmas past. You've, crazy. you've uh, been a big help. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just get my things. Oh, sure, sure, you sure. Here you go. Here. So don't forget, awesome. Thank don't forget you for Perry. The... Oh, yep. this is so nice. There my little tissue. All right. Ball. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Uh -huh. Just thank you for having me. One last thing. Uh, can I keep him? Sure. sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> So? Okay, okay, so I guess getting stuff for Christmas in July isn't the most important thing, okay? But I'm still mad because you didn't even try to give me something. Maybe not something you can hold, but right now at this very moment, I'm giving you my undivided attention. That's not true. You're thinking about whether or not cereal is soup. But isn't it? It's in a bowl. Can we move on to the guest of Christmas present, please? Okay, you asked for it. It's Bible story time with Killing! Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. Wait, Kellen's not a guest. He's here every week. Just go with it. What have you got for us today, Kellen? Well, today we're playing a game. It's called... Who deserves it more? Awesome! Okay, how do we play? The rules are very simple. You will both be put through a series of challenges. You will get points for each challenge you do well. At the end of the game, we'll see who has enough points to earn the grand prize. I have always wanted one of those. Bring it, Kellen. Yeah, I'll go first. Okay. First, I'm going to test your biblical knowledge. Contestant number one, can you name all 12 of Jesus' disciples? <laughs> okay, I've got this. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew and Bartholomew, James and Simon, Thaddeus, and the last one is Judas. Is that right? That is correct! Oh, yes! Contestant number two, your biblical challenge is to name the 12 tribes of Israel. I can do that without a song. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Issachar, Asher, Zebulun, Benjamin, and Joseph, who was later split into the two half-tribes of Manasseh and Ephraim. In your face. Correct! This next challenge is a head-to-head -head round to see which one of you can have the longest quiet time of reflection and prayer. The winner will be one step closer to earning the grand prize. Get ready, get set, be quiet.
<laughs> oh, so sorry, John. Brandon was quieter and more reflective. You know it. Oh, oh, I think I know what's happening here. Brandon, I am really, really proud of you for winning that round. Aw. Great job, buddy. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See how humble I'm being, Kellen? Do I deserve points for being more humble than him? Oh, absolutely. Here you go. Hey, how is that fair? Oh, no, you're right, Brandon. It's not fair. You can have some of my points. <gasps> more humility? Way to go, John. B -b 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 Bingo! Hey! Not to worry, contestant number two. We're going into our Good Works lightning round. Who's done the most good in the world? Go. I helped change a tire when I didn't have to. I did the dishes even though I wasn't asked. I, I paid for the coffee for the person behind me in line. I donated a bunch of clothes I don't wear anymore. I, I play board games at a nursing home with the residents. I offered someone my seat on the bus. I, I took care of my friend's cat when she went out of town. I got you a gift on Christmas in July. There is no clicker. Time's up. Contestant number one, it looks like you have 51,500 points. And contestant number two, not far behind, with 51,000 points. Let's see if either one of you have done enough good things to earn the grand prize. Judges? Ooh, so sorry, you two. You did not do enough. What? No. It's true. There are some gifts you can't earn, no matter how good you are. Check out what the Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the church in Ephesus. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. You know what that means? You both win! Hey! <laughs> hey, 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 Wait, 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 I, I thought we didn't have enough points. That's the thing about God's grace. You can't earn it because you don't have to earn it. Jesus already paid the price when he died on the cross for you and me. I mean, don't get me wrong, you should read and know the Bible, and you should be humble and be kind to one another. But the gift of salvation doesn't cost a thing. It's free for anyone who accepts it. I forget that sometimes. Thanks for the reminder, Kellen. Yeah, thanks, Kellen. No problem, guys, and I'll catch you later. Oh, and before I forget, Merry Christmas in July. Bye, Kellen. You know, I really learned a lot today. That was strange. Yeah, it was. But as I was saying, I really learned a lot. Ah! Oh. Are you the guest of Christmas future to show me the error of my ways? To help me understand that you shouldn't try to earn gifts, especially not the greatest and most important gift of God's grace? What are you... Reveal the question? Oh. <laughs> Reveal the question! The question of the day is, why do people give gifts? Hmm. What do you think, guest of Christmas future? I know, just cause. That's why people give gifts. Oh, that's a good reason. What do you think? Why do people give gifts? Yeah, and yeah, talk about it together. We'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Merry Christmas. Is he still here? Five, six, seven, eight. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 Don we now a gay apparel, fa la 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 Troll the ancient yuletide carol, fa la 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 Kazoo solo! Kazoo solo! You don't have to do solo if you don't want to. Hey, Nova kids! It's been a great summer. Hey, Nova kids, it's Rachel. And Olivia. And Max. We hope you guys are having a great summer. We really miss seeing you at Nova Kids. We are here with your memory verse for July, and it's from Ephesians 2, 8. It goes like this. God's grace has saved you. Because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. That's right. 
So remember that you don't have to earn God's grace or his love. You have it just for being you. So stay true to that. Have a great rest of your summer and we hope to see you guys really soon. Bye. Bye. ultimate free gift. Free gift for you, for anyone and everyone. And it's the best. It's his big salvation plan. It was a salvation plan to save a hurting world. All right. Remember that as we go into this week, that he is a free gift for everyone. Now I'm going to pray and then We'll have a great week. All right, dear God, we thank you for today. And we thank you that you were the ultimate gift. We thank you for your love and your kindness that you've shown to us and to others. And we pray right now that you will come into our hearts and that we will be able to show your love and your kindness and your good works to our friends and those around us. And they may want the free gift then as well. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, have a great week. Remember, study the memory verse because there is going to be a contest at the end of this month. Whoever sends me videos of you memorizing the memory verse for the month, 
then we are going to have a dunk challenge and it will involve Mr. Joel and some water. You don't want to miss it, so get involved. And if we get lots of people, if we get 10 people to send in a recording of you doing the memory verse for July, Mr. Joel will get dunked on. A big bucket of water poured on his head. All right, have a great week and we'll see you later. Bye.